that is the complete Italian aria. It is very early in the morning. Um, let's now talk about the coda. That's the part that starts at the end of measure 16 after you've gone. It starts on F sharp here. Now, right here, if you're looking at the music right now, you'll notice I have added some notes to make this nice rolled chord at the beginning of measure 17. That sounds more like the orchestral version that you hear um, in the movie Persuasion. You might want to write these notes down. So this is right at the beginning of measure 17. All you see there in the music is this D. That's at the top of the rolled chord. We're going to add E flat, finger one, G with finger two, B flat with finger three, and then the D with five. So you have okay. Now it, uh, you'll notice the left hand has got C and B flat with fingers five and one. Okay, so it's then bring your thumb down to A right hand goes up to G. Now we're going to descend on this scale. Okay, so uh, let's figure out a fingering for that descending scale. Hmm, you're going to end up in measure 19 with finger 2 on C sharp. So from that G, five, four, three, two, one, then you've got to do something with this B flat. Let's go three and then four on F. And then when you get to D, you can use finger one and cross over to that A sharp with finger two. Now, if you want to keep going forward from measure 19, you've got two on A sharp. Put your fourth finger on B flat. That's going to bring you down to the F sharp with one. Then you're going to stretch up to E flat with your pinky. Back to F sharp. And then just play G with five. down to this B. You can either move your thumb or you can cross two over like that. So that looks like from the G in measure 17. Here comes your crossover to three on B flat. that right hand. Don't forget the rolled chord in measure 17. It really adds a lot. And remember, you're going to have your pedal. So when you're playing the notes of the rolled chord, you don't have to hold on to it like this. You can just play one at a time. Like that. You don't have to stretch your hand out. See what you can do with the right hand in the coda. Really, the fingerings don't matter as much as just smoothly. So you'll notice there aren't any fingerings in the music. That's because you can kind of do what you want.